But the fact is that despite the thousands of neuroscience journals and textbooks and laboratories, there are still fundamental basic questions that we don't know the answer to. And one of the most fundamental is the question of consciousness. Why does anything feel like something? In other words, imagine that you built a little toy out of pulleys and levers and switches. Would you say that it is conscious? Presumably you wouldn't. Now, double your little toy in size with new levers and switches and pulleys. Is it conscious now? There's no particular theoretical reason to think so. Now keep adding to it. Put on another pulley and another lever and another little door and attach a wheel and keep doing this until you fill a room and then a stadium. Do you have any reason to assume that it becomes conscious and has internal experience just because it's more and more complex? If you now remove a pulley, does it feel pain? And if you put a little molecular detector on it, such that it can recognize molecules of different shapes, does it have a different experience, like displeasure for some shapes and pleasure for other shapes? And where is that happening? I certainly wouldn't think that your giant toy is conscious, or at least let me say that I have no theoretical reason to believe that it suddenly experiences pain or hunger or longing or pleasure because it's just pieces and parts. So this is a fundamental question about the brain. We look at your 86 billion neurons, which are generally thought of, especially now in this era of AI, as being units that are popping either on or off, one or zero. And so it's not clear to any of us in neuroscience why we have private subjective experience. And this is true whether you have 86 neurons or 86 billion or 86 gajillion of them. Why do these little electrical signals and chemical releases give us the experience of eating a lemon or the pleasure of an orgasm or the pain of stubbing your toe? Now, we don't know the answer, but here's a speculation that some people have put forward. Could consciousness the most intimate, subjective, elusive feature of our existence have something to do with quantum physics.